Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech again. And I have a box here. As many of you may have recognized, this is actually the stock cooler from AMD processors. This is the rough prison. Uh, let me open this box and I'll show you the, what's inside. You, so first of all, once open, there's a circle here. There's actually a circle on the box here to let you see the AMD logo on the fan itself. And here is the cooler. Let's just take this out. Here is the cooler itself with a clear blad here. I believe this is a 92mm fan, I believe. Uh, correct, me, correct me if I'm wrong. And here is the AMD logo here with a string of RGB LEDs here. And also there's RGB on the fan, that's, so that's why it is, um, it is transparent. So comparing with the RAF Max, um, the black is now transparent with RGB. So the RAF, RAF Max has a RGB strip here. For the RAF Prison, you have RGB strip here and also on the fan. And uh, here, we, as you can see, it is using a clip to lock onto your processor to cool it down. And as you can see, it's actually quite tall, but it's, it is actually the largest stock cooler from any processor here, which is well, well done by AMD here, which is pretty brilliant, I would say. And as you can see here is the copper plate base here. As you can see, there's four heat pipes here, two expanding to, the, to each side here into the aluminum fins on here and um, we have a sticker here which you have to remember to remove when installing it if not you're, it's going, not going to cool your processor well and we have a cable from here which is a 4 pin CPU fan here uh, that allows you to connect to your motherboard it's actually sleeve as well which is a good touch and it's actually quite so short, so if, so if the CPU fan header is close to, to you, it's actually easier to manage your cable here. And here we see another connector here, which is a 3-pin connector connecting to a USB 2.0 header here. And uh, it's actually very small here. And as you can see, we have another slot here which is actually covered by a rubber cover and you can take it off it's actually de detachable it's actually a four pin so uh, when you look at this you actually have two cables for your RGB control one is using the RGB uh, using the using this USB 2.0 to control RGB another option here is actually as it's included in the box it's this RGB header here. Yep. So this one is actually connecting to your directly onto your RGB header. And as you can see, this one is the 4 pin here. And so you can choose to use USB 2.0 or this RGB header here to control your RGB, which is a sweet move because these cables are actually uh, removable. So it's actually much easier to uh, manage your cables. You don't have your cables hanging around your motherboard. And if for older motherboards which doesn't support this RGB header, you can actually use this uh, USB 2.0 header, but you'll sacrifice one USB header here. And for newer or later motherboards, you can definitely use this because I believe this is much easier to use. So you just have to connect to this. And everything and you can start controlling your RGB on the fan itself but if you don't want the RGB you can just leave it here uh, cover the holes back like so and then you can run your cooler with the RGB which is actually pretty sweet at least as it allows your cable management to be easily completed and uh, I'm not sure how tall this is but it but it definitely Will not affect your RAM, so no issue with RAM here. And I'm and I'm not exactly sure what is this left and L and H uh, button here. Maybe someone can share me down in the comments below. And uh, so to log in into your motherboard, you just have to click both of these 
onto your AMD motherboard here which usually comes with the two clip, clip there so you just clip it down and then you need to apply pressure onto it by turning this thing to this side so that it pushes down on, onto your C CPU firmly so as you can see there's actually some uh, spring inside the clips here I'm not sure but uh, yeah but it's but I have tested it and it's actually quite tight which is sufficient enough and uh, this CPU cooler comes with Ryzen 2 2700X and above so those 2600 doesn't come with this cooler it comes with Revspire I believe and only those 2700 above include and the and the 3700X above comes with this cooler. Um, I'm sorry, um, 2700 is doesn't doesn't come with this cooler. So only those 2700X and 3700X and above gets this cooler, which is very uh, actually a very sweet switch. Uh, it's actually a very sweet touch by AMD because it's actually save you a lot from from your budget as you don't need to buy another cooler for your CPU and it also allows decent overclocks on your CPU so you get a bit more ex more performance out of the box yourself once you overclock with it so that's it all for me guys thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe and share my videos to your friends if you find this useful and I'll see you guys next time ciao